Huh. Look at that. Listen, friend, you should really pay more attention to your surroundings. Bloody thief. Bloody thief. You could have just given me all your items and it wouldn't have been a problem. Sorry, I was just robbing this nomadic merchant of all of his wares and his life. In case you couldn't tell, today we're gonna to be using a bandit starter build. What you're gonna need for this build is a great knife with quick step. I put keen affinity on mine because well, look at that S deck scaling. And then you will also need a short bow with barrage as well as a buckler. And of course you will also need the bandit armor as well. And if you'd like to see my talisman choices as well as my stats, both of those will be on screen. Now I'm very interested to see how this build is gonna perform. So let's jump right in. Ow. Well, that felt pretty good. Good fight, Glovebird. Listen, guys, I've become an addict. Okay, I have a problem. I I, I have a parry problem. Okay, I I, I can't I can't stop. I, 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 I just have to keep going. I have to keep parrying. It's it, it's it really is an addiction at this point. A raster. Hello, a raster. What's good, up, brother? Ooh! I forgot how fun quick step is. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait, did he just guard counter an arrow? I didn't even know that you could like do that. That is insane. Oh, damn it, dude. No, good fight. Bro, I was not expecting that at all. You can guard counter arrows with, with, a, with a katana? Good stuff, a raster. Hell yeah, th th that's definitely making it in the video. And I think the bow is gonna come in very, very handy. Uh, like whenever we jump into 3v3s for sure just for chip damage. Um, and if there's like a chance that, that we get somebody who doesn't have high poise on the other team or something, you know, we could potentially stun people a little bit and allow for some big combos from our teammates. Oh, it's Glove Bird again. Oh. <laughs> Glove Bird. Come on, dude. Good fight, man. Okay, if I get any more repeat fights, I'm just gonna cut them out. But of course, you know, I, dude, dude, I have to, I have to put in the parries. What? This is three fights, two parries already landed. I'm feeling good. A normal guy. What's up, dude? Want to mess with the bandit? Oh, oh, wait, you got dual daggers? Hell yeah, dude. Go. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Good fight, normal guy. SpongeBob Square. Come here. Oh no, don't let it be you, bro. Come on now. <laughs> now, before we get into a 3v3, I do want to make something clear. I am by no means a parry god. I've definitely gotten a lot more consistent, especially since I've been using these starter builds. But listen, there are plenty of fights within this recording that don't make it into the video where I die because I mess up parries. And here's the other thing. Parrying is, is definitely a skill thing. It's, you know, how well can you read your opponent? Can you condition your opponent to do a certain thing? Or can you simply react to certain attacks? But I think sometimes the lag in this game, and, and I've said this before, I know some people don't agree with me and that's perfectly fine, but the whole accounting for lag, you can, right? There's, th th that is a skill in itself, honestly. You know, you kind of get used to it. I hope that most of us can agree at least that there are times in this game where 
the lag is just a bit too much to the point where what is happening on your screen is not at all what's happening in game and sometimes whenever the lag is just so intense and i'm trying to go for parries it almost feels like a shot in the dark which sucks you know oh god oh geez okay we got some dual curve sword gangers in here all right oh no i like how like 90 percent of those missed yeah nah not gonna let you do that Oh no! Oh no! Bro, do not let it be you! Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! It's a murder, bro! Hello? You're not pointing down at me, are you? I assume not. Okay, yeah, I think he's pointing down at, uh. Oh, uh. Hey, bro, he was just chilling. <laughs> yeah, this dude's not having a good time. He's very angry, I think. <laughs> hey, GG. I still can't believe what I did to that man. Holy shit. Honestly, guys, I think this is a really, really good build to uh, practice just spacing and attack timing, uh, especially like chasing people down, trying to get roll catches. And of course, if you want to get better at parrying overall, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to say this now. This is a very good build, I think, if you want to get better at the game, truthfully. All right, we back in it. Oh, we got Thanos. OK, hell yeah, dude. Uh, somebody did send in a Thanos build once for a build submission. I didn't use it, but. I was considering it. This looks dope. Nice. Good job, V. Way to finish that off. Zebra, like, dude, they're just sitting back here spamming stuff. I hate that. It's so annoying. Come here. Sit down, dude. All that spamming for what? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You're making it too simple. Oh, I... Those were just invisible. Okay. That's cool. Be aware of your surroundings, brother. Oh, my God. I wonder how close this game is right now. I feel like I have, I have died the most, probably. Oh, damn, we lost. I feel like that was pretty close. GG's, guys. Even though, I, I mean, dude, that death ritual spear spam and then the big shard spam, like, oh man, that gets so annoying. All right, those were some good 3v3s though. So I'm gonna jump into a free for all because I hate myself. And then we'll finish it off with a couple more duels. Okay. Hello, everyone. Oh, dual Naganatas. Oh boy. Got magic. And then we got, is that a blasphemous blade, Chad? Looks like it. Oh, oh, wait, those aren't Naginatas. Okay, those are uh, du dual Lucerne's. Oh, okay. You, I mean, shit, you never see anyone use that. That's pretty cool. It is just such a chore dealing with a magic user. Especially in... Oh, God. <laughs> well, they just saved my life. Okay. You're making it too easy, Elden John. Come on now. I'm gaming. I'm gaming. You watching this, man? Crazy. This is quite the show. You pay for this? I got in for free. Came with the battle pass. GG's. Let's go! Good fight, Trev.
Lancelot of Towels. Hello? Oh, I, I did not mean to press parry there. <laughs> God, dude, just the, just the parry spam. I love it whenever it gets people. Except whenever it gets me, then it just feels really bad. <laughs> Good fight, Lancelot. Let's keep looking at that mausoleum. Nothing to see here. Damn straight, brother. Uh, I know, I'm sorry about your owner. Good luck to you. So I'm sort of conflicted about my rating for this build, but all I know at the end of the day is that I actually really did have a blast with this build, like a shit ton of fun. So this is a 9.6 out of 10. This is my favorite starter build so far. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm just gonna get what's bad about the build out of the way. And that's the short bow. Uh, it, it, it does like no damage, really. Um, even, even with the arrow talisman. In 3v3s, you can get some chip damage. And if they don't have really high armor, you know, you can maybe help your teammates get some combos, but that's about it. You're better off just going for the parries and using the knife. And speaking of that, like I said earlier, I'm addicted. I am straight up addicted to parrying now, and there's something that is just so badass about parrying with this build. I, I, I love the look of the build. I don't know, dude. It just feels extra smooth to use this build. Uh, now, something I didn't utilize a lot was quick step, but, you know, I didn't really want to sit there and quick step just everything and do 180 damage to like 250 damage each time I would swing my weapon and just chip away at them. Frankly, that just drags fights out. I would much rather just go for the parries. Now, let's say that you were dual wielding great knives. Quick step would be really, really fire. I just think with one, eh, you know, it's kind of eh. And in a way, this is sort of a disrespect build because you have the bandit stuff on, but it's not good armor by any means. You have no poise. You literally have to rely on your parry skills and just your spacing and timing so much. And whenever you just hit some slick stuff on your opponent, it, it, it does feel disrespectful and I love it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Definitely my favorite starter build so far. Let me know what you guys think of this build down in the comments, or I will shank you. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed, and if you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit that subscribe button and that noti bell. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.